you're in a we're here before you on a couple of matters. Um, the first is that Mr. Jones is scheduled for PCC today. Um, when I uh, went over Mr. Jones's discovery, there was some sort of corruption in the file that I had. I uh, contacted Mr. Childers to get another copy the um, because I do not have a copy in, of the uh, the lab test results, Mr. Childers indicated that there was some sort of issue with his as well. He is attempting to get us both new copies of the police report so that we can one point in time this report worked fine reading it, but obviously nothing proceeds and it's kind of corrupted on my end. Okay. All right. So so that's so we are asking for an adjournment so we'll have more time to discuss that. In addition, I it is my understanding standing that Mr. have some additional information if the court would like that. What is your additional information? So I did email to um, Ms. Wilding a copy of my client's medical marijuana card that he had. Um, As I indicated to counsel last time, the medical marijuana card wasn't a problem. It was whether he had a medical cocaine card. That is Okay, it is a, 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 but I did, but it was a, I, it was my understanding that community corrections did not have that. So I said the medical marijuana card. Oh, okay. that's correct. They now have. So, so they now have that. The other thing is that um, Mr. Jones is being represented by Mr. Jeff Bennett, or had been represented by the, his office in Lenawee County, and Jessica Kirkland of Mr. Bennett's office did contact Lenaway County, and I do have a copy here of where she received um, a photograph of what I believe is the most recent test that client took there in Lenaway County. And Which was what day? That would be the, I believe April 11th day, but I want to- April or March 11th? I'm sorry, I said April, but I meant March. Okay. Um, with this, I believe that Mr. Jones to counsel explained last time, it, it, it's a picture. I have a photograph of both his test as well as the test that the, whomever the agent would have taken with him at the time. Ms. Kirkland apparently called um, Lenaway County and received from Agent Mike McCarran um, the photos that were in their file of the two tests. And I can, I correctly okay, copy but, Mr. Childers. So, but hold on a second. I have Lenaway County's test that shows he's positive for cocaine. Correct. Then I have a test that he brought with him that indicates that he's negative for cocaine. That is correct. However, okay, he did so take which one test. do you think I'm going with? If, if I could say, it's my understanding from Mr. Jones that he took the test there and that it was under observation just like the test that they had taken, is that right? Yeah. And that they opened the packaging and all of that. How it was administered. There are gonna be different types of testing. If you would like to see, I mean, his is the um, five panel test, and um, theirs was a what? The, that is part of what his concern is in terms of when they're testing. It is um, as a po it is a dipstick that is they only have in the urine for a short period of time, and then they place it like on a counter or something, he explained, and then they wait for the test results. So we like to hear it, we can bring all of them up, or if Lenaway County wants to say their test, that they're gonna take his test as opposed to their own test, then I'll be more than happy to hear their sworn testimony as to why they're doing that. But at this time, what I've got is I have a test that indicates that he's positive, for cocaine from a facility in Lenaway County. I then have the defendant's test saying that he's negative. Well, 
Well, at this time, Your Honor, we'd just like to address Bond, if we may. Well, does he want a hearing on that issue? Because I'd be more than happy to set a hearing. No, he's indicated that he just... And therefore, um, and at least Ms. one King, of them no longer... Have you looked at this progress report? I have, yeah. He periodically comes up with cocaine in his system. That is what it's not like this was a one a one off yeah. on March 11. That is correct. So, okay. so, so again, <laughs> at this point, he is requesting to, that we um, that we address the bond, and at, and he is asking your honor to um, consider either a release to a treatment program, or that he be his original bond be reinstated with him attending treatment in the community. He um, is a parent. He is, he and his um, significant other reside together. They have two children and one on the way. He does have his own business that he works, so he helps support the family. And I believe that his child that is um, due is due within the next couple of weeks. So he is asking really very much for an opportunity. He is to be able to do some sort of treatment if you're in a believes that's appropriate, but with his first choice, if you're on a waiting for this violation or not. I was going to his daily reprieve. It's called having the child. It's a substance abuse. It's a substance abuse treatment. There's two different types of treatments. Okay, Your Honor, he's indicating that he was involved with daily reprieve through Catholic Social Services, and that um, was he attending it. I had to go the same day I had court. So that so so, no. so let me let me okay so that was what I was trying to ask you okay so your honor I, I actually have more information on that um, he does have a pending matter out of fourteen a four and as part of the um, pre sentence things for him to do he was to go to daily reprieve or to have an assessment for treatment he was scheduled for that the afternoon that he was here last week. So he has a case pending out of 14-4. What kind of case is that? It is a use of substances. Okay. And he was supposed to then have an assessment. Didn't get to that assessment. Mr. With the cocaine? Mr. Jones is indicating that they have. When was the last time he was in court at 14-4? And so now they've seen this. What's his bond on that case? It's on appeal. He was, he was scheduled for sentencing and re referred to get an assessment in Lenaway County where he presided. And he was arrested before he could obtain it. He's scheduled for sentencing in Chimchayas. I think it's April 24th or 23rd, something like that. Do you have proof of his appointment? Proof of his assessment? His yeah, appointment. when was that set? I'll give I'll pass this matter. You can take it back because I would. My inclination is not to let him out, but I'll take a look at whatever you got. Troy Gaines, Senior Assistant Public Defender, representing Mr. Jones. What are you and the assessment agency? Okay, I see that. But did they, and they won't see him. That is my understanding from Mr. Brown. That's the agency. That's one of the agencies, according to Mr. Brown, that 40 When was he sent for sentence? I want to say April 23rd or was it the 27th? April 23rd. Yeah. He was, no, I know when he said this time, but when was he, he was going to do the assessment. When was he set for sentencing after that assessment? Third. So in about a month. 
defendant having admitted to the violation, I'm not going to give him a straight PR. He'll need to set the appointment. I'll let him out prior to sentencing. I'll sentence him on that to on the violation of 28 days. I'll give him credit for 21 days. So I'll serve an additional three weeks. He should get it out of time then to do his assessment and then properly be sentenced before Judge Freshour. Right. Thank you.